All right, family, we back out here uh, on day 25. Yes, I am your girl, Marshawn Olanio, life and relationship strategist, and I'm trying to help you to improve your relationship. That is why you keep showing up, you keep showing out, because you are here to get the tools and tips and strategies on how to improve your relationship. So thank you so much for coming out, showing up and showing out, and taking this information into your relationship. So. The topic of today on how to improve your relationship is to be your spouse's friend, to be your partner's friend. What does that actually mean to you? What does being a friend mean to you? Is it somebody that you can laugh and joke with? Somebody that you can tell just about anything to? What is being a friend to you? Is it somebody that you like? Somebody that you love? What does being a friend mean to you? How do you show up and be a friend to your partner? How do you show up and be a friend to your spouse? And why is being friends with your partner or with your spouse important? Well, there are a few reasons why that is important, being a friend to your spouse. One of them is because it's one of the most important characteristics on creating a happy, lasting marriage. Yes, just being your partner's friend that is a way to create a happy lasting marriage another thing is because it creates a healthy foundation to your relationship being their friend yes it it, it tells you it also tells your spouse that you like them you actually like being around them you actually like laughing and joking with them you like having conversations with them because you like the way they think you like that you guys are able to bounce ideas off of each other and just truly share and open up to one another so being their friend is a way to build a healthy foundation another thing is that research actually shows that those with great friendships within the relationship have a higher percentage of overall marital satisfaction. So don't you want to have a happy um, relationship? Don't you want to have a high percentage of marital satisfaction? I mean, I know that I do. I totally want to be satisfied within my relationship. So just being a friend increases those chances of you as well having a um, happy-go-lucky increased marital satisfaction so that is something else to think about also for married couples out there that they did this research on shows um, five times more that it is five times more important to have a um, emotional connection versus a physical connection with your spouse and so that incorporates being their friend for sure so it, it, of course, friendship builds the emotional and physical attraction, but specific to research, research, research actually shows that it's five times more important to have the emotional connection versus the physical connection with your spouse. So again, how are you showing up? How are you being a friend to your spouse? How are they showing up with you and being a friend with you as well? Another thing, I already mentioned this a little bit, but I want to make sure that I drive this point home is that you actually enjoy spending time with your spouse. You enjoy spending time with your partner when you are their friend. I mean, just think about it, even if it's not your partner. Just think about this one point. The people that you seek out, that you want to hang out and around are your friends. They are the people that you enjoy talking to. They are the people that you enjoy just hanging out with, going to get a glass of wine or going to play some type of um, game or watching sports with. Those are the people that you want around you. They are not the toxic people right so that really applies to you being around your spouse around your partner as well and and on top of that if you guys are not friends and if you are or do have a toxic relationship how much time do you really want to spend with your spouse I can answer that question not much <laughs> If your relationship is toxic, if you're always fussing and fighting with your spouse, if you guys are always arguing about every single solitary thing that happens, how much time are you truly wanting to hang around your spouse? How much time are you willing to put into that relationship? Very little. Very little. I can tell you it's very little. I know that it's very little. And you also do not look forward to um, spending time with your spouse, especially when it's a toxic environment. And little, listen, 
sometimes you don't even like that person anymore you have grown apart you guys are doing different things you guys are really building different lives you don't even like this person and for those of you who are out there in toxic relationships when is the last time you had a great belly laugh with your spouse it's been a while hasn't it it's been a while so how are you showing up and being a friend how is your spouse showing up and being a friend to you is this something that you need to work on just truly showing up and being their friend being their cheerleader laughing and joking with them just having a wonderful happy-go-lucky time being a friend with your spouse and to your spouse also makes both of you feel safe enough to open up to one another where you can talk about all of the things that are like getting on your nerves or some of the things that you're trying to accomplish in life you want to run by them you want to get you you're seeking out the opinion you do this to the people that you like especially your friends especially your friends and in this case your friend i hope that your friend is your spouse and i hope that you guys are actually building the relationship close enough where you guys will even consider one another your best friend i know that every relationship is not going to be like that but the relationships where you have a great friendship it makes a difference in how you're showing up for your spouse it makes a difference of how your spouse is showing up for you it makes a difference how much you guys are dependent on one another you're going back and forth, you're enjoying one another, you're being their cheerleader whether you're around them or not. It makes a difference on how much you're, you're talking about them in the good way as well as how much you're talking about them in the bad way. Being your spouse's friend makes a complete difference. So I wanna ask how many of you guys need to work on being your spouse's friend? Just sitting there and listening to them, laughing and joking with them, maybe even dancing with them. When is the last time you danced and just had a good old belly laugh with your spouse? Just randomly. Like while you're cleaning up or while you're cooking or just passing the person. Are you truly enjoying your relationship? Are you truly enjoying your spouse? Just something to think about. Think about how you can be a better friend to your spouse. Thank you guys for coming out here. This is day 25 of the 30 day challenge on how to improve your relationship. How are these things working out for you? How are these tips working out for you? How are these strategies working out for you? I definitely wanna know. Let me know down in the comment section below and I will see you guys here tomorrow for day 26. All right, have a great holiday if I do not see you here tomorrow or even Monday. Talk then.